Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Reese and Sherry here for another story from the Bible in the book of Luke chapter 18 and it's a parable that Jesus told to the people about a Pharisee. Um, he's someone who knows the laws of God and um, a tax collector and he's someone who takes money from the people so that the Roman government can have money and sometimes they took more than what they were supposed to. Well, that's what this parable is about. But um, I have something I want to ask Sherry because it goes with the lesson in the story because parables teach us lessons. You know, Sherry is a cheerleader. Yay! Go team! Go team! That's right. And Sherry got a question. When you're at the game and your team wins, what do you do? I go, yay! Okay, good. Well, um, do you also maybe go around like saying that your team's the best and nobody can beat your team? And <laughs> oh, Sherry, you do? You really do that? Yeah, because we are. Well, um, Sherry, uh, you won at the moment, but that doesn't mean you're going to win the next game. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're so good. Well, this story, boys and girls, is for you, for me, for Sherry, and we're going to find out what Jesus thinks about, about all that. No more, nana nana boo boo, I do want you to win. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on, come on Sherry. I just wanted to tell him that. Oh, yeah, I know, come on, story time. Boys and girls, look at all the people gathering around Jesus. He's ready to share more of the gospel of mercy and grace. And mercy is the holding back of what we deserve, and grace is the giving of what we don't deserve. And he's, he's going to talk to all these people, and as you can see, a couple of his disciples are standing behind him. Then we have some families in there who have brought their children. They want to bring their children to Jesus. He will touch them and bless them and, and pray over them. And then we have some religious people back here. We have the high priest, and we have um, one of the teachers of the law. This is the laws of God, the Ten Commandments. And we even have some, a soldier back here. He's checking out what's going on. And so Jesus knows what everybody's thinking. And he knows in this crowd there's people who think they're, they're pretty confident of their own righteousness. Righteousness is the ability to stand before God, boys and girls. And you can only stand before God without sin. And so they're, they're pretty confident that they can stand before God. And some... So they, they're in the back here. It's, it's the, this group back here. But Jesus, he knows what everybody's thinking, and he's going to tell them a parable. And parables are to learn some lesson, lessons from. So we're ready to hear his parable because he does not want any of us to think that we're better than anybody else no matter how much money you have or how nice you dress or the, the kind of food you have or the kind of car you have or the games that you play. Jesus wants everybody to accept everyone and, and, and love one another. That's what Jesus is all about. Here we are at the temple. And if you'd like to read this story, it's in the Bible in the book of Luke, chapter 18. Now remember, Jesus is telling this story. He's using it for an example. And it's about two men that went up to the temple to pray, and one of them is a Pharisee. Now Pharisees were very strict. They made up a lot of rules, and some of those rules didn't make sense. However, um, they were the only thing they were worried about was keeping those rules. And in keeping those rules, they felt very proud. And that's where they thought themselves to be so much better than others. Okay, he was one that came to the temple. Same time, another man came in. And he kind of stayed back back here by the, by the column, kind of in a corner there. And boys and girls, this is a tax collector. And many tax collectors, they turned their backs on God when they joined the Roman government um, because then they were in charge of collecting taxes. And sometimes they would, they would not be honest and tell a person they owed way more than what they really did, and then they keep that money. So um, 
He's just staying back behind the Pharisee who thinks himself to be so much better. Now, the Pharisee in the temple, he's going to pray. and He's not going to pray quietly, boys and girls. Uh, remember, he thinks he's better than anyone else. So this is what Jesus said his prayer was. In fact, he stood up and he prayed. God, I thank you that I am not like other men, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all I get. That was what his prayer was. You sure can tell what a person's heart is by listening to how they talk, boys and girls. Now, remember the tax collector? Well, he was praying, but not out loud like that. In fact, he was upset. He was crying because he knew the things in his heart. We all know things we've done that we shouldn't do. And he just beat his hands on his chest, and he just, his prayer, he could, you know, boys and girls, he could not even look up to heaven. He just kept beating his chest, and he said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. He's talking to God, and he want, he's just begging God to hold back judgment on him, things that when you sin, you deserve, but he, he, he wants him to have mercy and you can see what kind of a person he is by his prayer and his thoughts. He is not putting himself up high. Boys and girls, Jesus says those who think they're better, they're going to be brought down low. And those who are humble, you know, they're not like thinking they're better than everybody else. Jesus says they will be lifted up on high. They will be exalted. And that was the parable that Jesus told the people. There's a lesson to learn, isn't there? Don't think you're better than anybody else. No matter if you're really if you're really good at whatever you do, always give the glory to God because He equips us for everything. What you think, Sherry? Ah. Okay. I think Thank you, right, Sherry. But it's going to be hard. Well, I know there's many things that come across us every day that are hard. We want to react to or we want to say to people because of something that happens. But we've got help. Jesus. Will you help me? Oh, sure. Tell you what, we all need the help. So let's pray, okay? You got to pray to make it through your day. Okay, you got to pray to make it through your day. Okay, okay, here we go. Father, we thank you that in our weakness, you are strong. That you don't give us a spirit of fear, but one of power, love, and a sound mind. And our sound mind will get us through anything that we have to do. And Father, just quicken us, strengthen us, bring to our remembrance all the things you're teaching us and that we have strength to do the right thing, that we believe what you say is right and that we do it because we believe it. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, Sherry. And you are welcome.